Hey guys, so I haven't done a haul in a long time. I don't even remember the last time I did one. I don't remember what it consists of, but this is all new stuff, pretty much of December. And um, I hope you guys had a great New Year, Happy New Year, and New Year's Eve and everything, and Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all your celebrations and um, holidays. The first item would be, okay, so today I just got back home there's a hole in the bag. So I just got home home from my parents because I was up I was up there for, like off and on for a couple days. So I went to Ulta. I stopped there and I had to get a couple things because I got a gift card for Christmas. Um so in here, did I get any points? Oh, they expire. That's great. Oh and you guys I just got my haircut too. I just um thinned it and got it trimmed. And it's a little bit shorter in the um, front because I don't, I like the A-line, but you know, I wanted it like all one length. So at Ulta, I got a couple of texturing hair creams because I've been dying to try some texturing creams or sprays or mousse or something for my short hair that would kind of give it a little bit of curl and it would stay, but it's not that crunchy like hairspray. Comment down below if you guys have any like suggestion like brands of any type of creams that would help me with that, that would be great. But at Ulta, I got two things. They're both the same brand. It's the Not Your Mother's. This first one is Beach Babe Texturing Hair Cream Infused with Sea Kelp Extract. I have watched so many videos on YouTube of how to style short bobs, and they really suggest like hair creams or, um, what is, this one's a cream too. Short Order Fiber Glaze Cream. This one's um, textured, edgy, defined styles. So both of these, you can put your hair um, really, I mean, you can get your hair wet and then put this in there and then kind of style it and then blow dry it. I don't have a blow dryer, but these I'm excited to use because I don't want to use curling irons and straighteners and I can't get this out of the box. Stuff like that. So, um, so yes, I bought these two. They're both the same brand, as you can see. Um, and I will let you guys know. I'll, maybe I'll do a video, too, of using these and styling my hair. Oh, the pizza. I made a flatbread pizza. So, like I was saying, um, I think I'll do a video of me styling my hair with both of these and doing different styles and pin it up or put it up somehow, um, I don't know. I'll make a video if you guys want to, you know, comment down below if you want to see that. But, um, so I got these two to test it out and see. These are the very first two, um, texture and hair creams that I've ever bought for my hair. So we'll see how that goes. I desperately needed, um, a big powder brush, so I bought a Real Techniques powder brush. I like these brands a lot. I have a couple other brushes of theirs and they're really nice. It's, the brushes are really soft. I haven't really taken this one out of the case um, to feel it. Let's just pet at the bottom. I will pet the brush. So let's see how... Oh my gosh! I've been waiting so long to get a huge puffy brush like this for so long. Goodbye box. Oh my gosh. Like. Oh, this just feels so nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Wow, like, so big and lumptious. Um, Real Techniques powder brush. So nice. Oh my gosh. Mmm, I can't wait to use this tomorrow morning. And the last thing I bought from Ulta was, um, it's a NYX matte lipstick. I haven't even opened it out of the plastic because I just went there tonight. Um, it's a matte lipstick. It's number seven, if you're wondering. Um, number seven, I think it's called Alabama. Oh, here we go. Right there, if you guys can see it. I don't know if you can, because I can't see with this camera on, which I want to get a new one. So this is a NYX matte lipstick. Let me open it up for you guys. So I love matte lipsticks. If you guys haven't already known, I really love the the reds, the plums, the raisins, the all those types of dark kind of 
brownish, reddish, purplish colors. Um, so this one's like a red. Oh snap! Wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, it reminds me of a well, a plain old red. Really, I'll do a swap for you guys. Oh, that is so beautiful. Wow, I'm in love. This is nice. And the little um, packaging is really nice. So that's the red. It's classic red, I'd say. It is matte, which I'm so excited about and so ready to try because I love matte lipsticks. It's like they're not glossy and sticky and just like you smudge it and it's like gloss and shiny. Well, okay, matte lipstick, it probably does come off. This one probably. Eek! Moving along. Urban Outfitters, oh my gosh, you guys, that store. I really wanted a little lace bralette from there because I looked on there plenty of times on the websites to see what kind they had. So I ended up getting this black lace bralette. This is a, um, this is Keep Away From Fire. Um, this is a thin, very thin, it's not even padded, lace bralette. It has um, adjustable straps, which is super nice, and the back just has um, clasps. But um, and it kind of reminds me of a um, I don't really know, but it's connected right in the middle, so it's kind of like a sports bralish kind of look. But yes, that's the little um, bralette I got. It was about sixteen, I believe. And then I also picked up this perfume because. I didn't know that they sold perfume, which is pretty cool. And this perfume was $18, uh, which is a really good bargain price. It's called Macaroon Rose. It's um, number two. And it really smells like a rose macaroon. Macaroon Rose, you know? Just a sweet, really fancy, elegant perfume. The other one that, that they had was um, more of a citrusy, which I really did love, but I wanted another really good perfume because my other one that I have, which is a Victoria's Secret Dream Angels Heavenly, which is a really fancy, elegant perfume, I was starting to run out of that, so I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get another really nice perfume that's not like a body spray for the summer or something. So I got that. It's amazing. Moving on to candles, because they're the best. Like this one's a white barn three wick from Bath and Body Works. This is called Mahogany Teakwood. It's the amazing Abercrombie model stuffed into candle form. <laughs> that is all I can explain of it really. It's absolutely amazing. I can't stop breathing it in. I don't want to use it yet. My grandma got it for me like for Christmas. It's just like, holy cow, these are originally $22. You know, I knew that they had some sale going on that these came out to like 10 or 8 or something. Or 12. But, Mahogany Teakwood. Three wick candle. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I love candles so much now. Like, Bath and Body Works? Man. Just stop what you're doing. You're gonna kill me. Drive me nuts. Uh, this candle is a LW Home. Rich scented candle, sun bleached denim, hand poured, burning time, 33 hours approximately. I got this one at, where did I get this guy? Marshalls? Ross? And you know what? Oh my gosh. He kind of, now I'm, now I'm referring to my candles as a guy, him, he. This candle kind of smells like a spicy fresh flannel kind of linen scent. Um, it's really nice. It's only one wick, but hey, it's a blue like glass container with a blue candle. I thought it looked really cool. It smells amazing. This guy was only $7, I believe. Absolutely amazing. Candles for the win. Alright, moving to a consignment store that Consignment? Confinement? It's like a thrift store. You can sell clothes there and stuff. Um, so I went there a little while ago and I found these black pumps. 
with a pointy heel. Or, yeah, they do have pointy heels. Ew, and there is a hair. Gross, because we all shed. We're humans. Is that tape on there? Black pumps, skinny little heels. This is a good length, good, good height for heels that I like to wear because I have stilettos. Those things are hard to walk in, let me tell you. These are really great. They're a little bit big. It's from Room 21. Let me tell you, this is like a consignment, confinement. I don't know what the right word is. It's like a thrift store. Um, so you can sell and buy clothing. It's Rue 21. It's a medium 7-8. Who sizes shoes like that? But it's a pointy heel, which I've been... I was going to say dying again. I wanted to get pointy heels for a long time, so these... Were really awesome. They were only like eleven dollars, I think. They're the greatest thing in the world. I love them so much. So pants. These are called Life in Progress. That's the brand. But these are actually from Forever Twenty One. I don't really know what size these are because on the tag, you know, it gives you a whole list of countries and everything, and they're like, oh, twenty six, twenty five, three, eighteen, one o five, negative twenty, whatever. Um, so I'm thinking these are just size 8, because I'm normally like a 7 or 5 or something like that. Um, so the brand is Life in Progress. These are really cool. They're like a burnt orange, as you can see. The pockets, they're fake, but they're zippers, which is different and cool. I like. So these are really neat. And down at the bottom, if you can get to it, um, they have another zipper. These you can actually zip up and you know fold them if you want so that's really cool the color is amazing perfect for fall and they are a little bit baggy on me which just makes it so much more comfortable let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you um and another thing is that they're super soft like i could just use this as a pillowcase it's that soft and um they're really awesome these were nine dollars yes they were nine dollars um, so awesome pants. Another pair of pants that I got that I've been wanting to get again is a good old pair of gray denim jeans. And these, I really like the brand names on all these pants. This is called Bullhead Denim Co. These are size. It doesn't say, but like I said before, I'm like a 7, 5, 8 maybe. Um, these are high rise, super skinny, gray denim jeans. Nothing really special about them, but they're special to me because they fit perfectly. Do you ever have that one pair of jeans, or maybe two, or maybe three pairs of pants or jeans or leggings? No, cut leggings out because leggings are perfect. Jeans or pants that per that fit you perfectly, like that. It's such a hard thing to find, but when you find it, it's just a special moment between you and your pair of pants. These came out to, I think they were 13. Um, yes, high rise, skinniest, size 5, right there. Um, and these, like I said, are Bullhead, Jean, or Denim Co. And these are just absolutely the best. Very simple, gray, dark wash, skinny jeans denim to be. Alright, and then just one more thing to just end it all together would be a book from Target, which I recommend for all of you, all of you people, all of my audience, all my viewers, Ellen DeGeneres. That's all I gotta say. All I gotta say. Um, the back is absolutely amazing. Like, I was reading this through the store laughing out loud because it was that great and that funny. This book, there's no table of contents, which is nice because you can just read it in like any order you want to and it could just make total sense throughout the whole thing, which is awesome. If you love Ellen, I suggest picking up one of her books. Um, this is, I don't really know how many books she has, but this is one of the funniest ones, I would think, because it just talks about everything from like, um, from like children to teens to adults to um, labels, additional thank yous, what is this one? Babies, animals, and baby animals. 
and then like short stories, dinner with a psychic, the longest chapter, deep thinkers and not so deep thinkers, honesty, don't worry, be happy. It's an amazing book. It was only like $11 or $12. The back, if you guys want to, you can pause it and you can just read the back. You'll just laugh because it's just so funny. If you don't laugh, then there might be something wrong with you. But it's just absolutely amazing. Like, she, her show is already so great. I can just go on talking about her because she's so awesome. But Target, 12, 13 bucks. Really funny, great book. You can read when you're sad or just when you're depressed or when you're just not feeling good, you're sick. Read the book, you'll feel a hundred times better. <laughs> it's really great. Um, so that is it for this haul. I did have other things, but I didn't want it to just go on forever. And then I'd end up like including some Christmas stuff, which wouldn't really make sense because these aren't the things, well, those aren't the things that I bought myself. But, so that is all it. Um, I'm going to go eat some pizza now. So I hope you guys had a wonderful Friday. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye! And also, comment down below if you guys want to see me do some hairstyling videos. And maybe some more lipstick videos. And, yeah, that is it. Bye!